probably been wondering where is this hand at while I'm back. Hi guys. <laughs> oh my god. It feels so good to be back. Let me put you guys over here. Hi Angel and welcome back to my channel. My name is Femina Magogo if you are new here and thank you so much for watching my video today. It feels so great saying that again. I haven't sat down to film a video in a little over a month. I think I think the car is outside. Let me just close the window. Okay. So you guys, now I'm out of focus. Come on, baby, focus on me. And you guys have probably been wondering where is this hand at? Well, I'm back. I'm back. I have had a lot go on in my life, I have had a lot take place in my life. So, since the last video I filmed, which was the sit down, shower routine, hygiene um, routine video. So then the next thing that happened um, in my life was my teaching practicals and I had so much fun and the school that I went to was amazing, the learners were great and um i had i had a lot to do in terms of my profession so i couldn't film in between me being a teacher because when you're a student teacher especially at this level of my um degree i'm in third year already um you're expected to be a full-time teacher when you get to those schools so i really didn't have time to sit down and film a video or vlog or anything like that um i had contemplated on vlogging and taking you guys through my life as a student teacher a little day in my life vlog but then i decided against it because i wanted to keep my professional life separate from my youtube and i wanted to maintain a professional relationship with the learners the school the staff members and everything like that so i just decided not to do that um but i'm back i'm back and there's a lot um going on in today's clips um you guys will see me doing what i will be going to bram later today it's only 10 minutes past 10 in the morning right now and the reason why it's Tuesday and I'm not doing schoolwork or whatever is because I'm on recess so um, I had recess since the 19th of September or the 18th I don't know but I went home for the long weekend and I got to see my family and it was really really nice seeing everyone it was so lovely being back home but I broke a nail when I was home so I need to go back to Brum to the nail salon to my nail take to get this fixed and also I want to get a haircut I want to cut my hair I really did cut my hair but um, the hairstyle just it's a lot of maintenance so i want to cut it shorter i want to get like a buzz cut um i'll probably play around with color if i get the chance to or if i decide to do it um but one of the biggest things that i'm going to be doing today the most important things is attending a therapy session i will be attending my first therapy session in over a year and um that's just be, be, been because I was going to therapy consistently every week last year um, before COVID hit and then the pandemic hit and then everybody had to go home. I was attending therapy here in Joburg and then everybody had to go home and all of that. So then I didn't continue with my therapy sessions and then, you know, habits. So then I just stopped going to therapy altogether. But now I've been feeling as though I don't know as much as practicals were amazing and everything went well for me and I passed my practicals um, I had been feeling as though 
I was too tired to do things that I liked. I was coming home from school at a certain point. Um, I'd come, I'd get back home from school or I get back to res from school at like 3 p.m. in the afternoon and I'd literally take a shower, get into my pajamas and get into bed, sleep till the next morning, wake up, get ready to go to school, do it all over again the next day and I felt as though I was really really exhausted half of the time. I love being a teacher and I love history and I love teaching history but the work aspect of it, the work, okay, it just it's something that I really have to get used to and you know we do it for four weeks at a time and then we go back to being students so it doesn't really help us get into the swing of things but I guess as time goes on I'll you know find my feet when it comes to the working aspect of being a teacher but um, I am ready to go back to therapy and I booked an appointment this is a new therapist that I'll be visiting so um we're gonna do an online session today at 1 p.m so my first appointment with her is today and i'm so excited yesterday i was a bit anxious last night last night i was a bit anxious i'm gonna admit that i was anxious but i'm ready i'm ready to start my healing process i'm ready to start feeling as though i'm myself again so what i'm going to do before that then because i still have a couple of hours i am going to dust around my space i already sweeped up last night so i'm just gonna dust up around my space um take a shower eat breakfast i'm just gonna make cereal Oh my goodness, like how can I forget to mention, guys, I think the last time I sat down to a formal video, I was like on 5,000 subscribers, 5,000 and something subscribers, I was on my road to 6,000, okay, and today, today, I am on 6,876 subscribers, 6,876 angels okay it is so insane i remember in january of this year i sat down and i made my vision board for the year 2021 and my subscriber count goal for the year was 5000 and right now i am well on my way to 10k and it is insane it's mind blowing i can't believe it okay i can't believe that i'm on my road to ten thousand angels i can't and it's all thanks to you guys i am super 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 grateful i will never stop being grateful towards you guys because it is because of you that my channel is growing and my family of angels is growing by the day and if you're a new angel welcome Hello and welcome. I'm smiling so hard my eyes are closing. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard my eyes are closing up but welcome. You are absolutely welcome here and I'm grateful to have you here. Please go binge watch all my old videos so that you guys get a gist of who I am and what I do on this channel. But anyway, I'm about to get... I want to clean first but I want to eat first. I'm really hungry so I'm going to make myself a bowl of cereal first. So let's do that and then i'll come back and dust my room but yeah thank you so much for 6876 angels probably by the time i post this video it will be way more than that but i am so grateful to you guys just want to play today's podcast for us to listen to I would have loved to just enjoy my cereal without having to do anything else but I have an email to reply to now that I'm back um, I haven't been replying to emails when I was on practicals for like the longest time I feel like this thing is tilted 
but whatever. I haven't been replying to her emails for like the longest time when I was on practicals and I just told everybody that I was on holiday. Um, just because guys when I do something I want to do it to the best of my ability so when I am in the classroom and I'm teaching and I have to prepare for my lessons and I have to do all of these things I want to do that with all of my energy and I want to do that with all of my focus so making YouTube videos and replying to emails and, you know just being the YouTuber while I was being the teacher was not going to gel well for me so I wanted to do one thing at a time so that I can do each of the things each of the tasks at hand to the best of my ability so I told some of the the people that have been reaching out to me, some of the brands that have been reaching out to me that I'm on holiday and I'll reply to them as soon as my holiday is over. I look 12 by the way. <laughs> I look 12. But anyway, um, so I'm going to do that now, reply to everyone and whatever. Okay, so today's podcast is going to be... I listen to a lot of self-care podcasts guys self-care wellness self-care self-improvement self-help kind of podcasts those are my things i listen to comedy podcasts here and there but not really not a lot really um today's episode is episode number 20 how to stop feeling guilty for every damn thing let's play that episode this is what her cover art looks like her podcast art This is her. Okay guys, so I just finished my therapy session. It is now 10 minutes past 2 o'clock. So the therapy session ran from 1 o'clock till um, 2 o'clock. And I'm on my way to Bram now. Like I said earlier, I am going to get my hair cut. This is my hair cut, by the way. It looked way cuter than this when I left the salon, the day that I left the salon. When I got home and I slept... I woke up, the hairstyle was gone. It was like a tempered cut, you know, with curls on the top and then like a fade on the sides. But I'm just going to go cut it all off and make it like a brush cut. I am really annoyed with my hair. I didn't want it for like weeks on end. And the only thing that I've been doing with my hair 
this year has been getting um, under plaid cornrows and braids other than that I have been doing absolutely nothing with my hair so cutting ties with it <laughs> literally is not gonna be an issue so I'm on my way to Bram guys please talk to me in my defense in my defense your honor I thought we would get vaccinated now once I tried to go one day Friday after school and I had finished working and I was like oh let me go get vaccinated vax girls worldwide the line the queue okay no ways I was like no ways I'm tired I'm exhausted there's no way I'm gonna stand in a queue to get vaccinated and also the vaccination site opened from 2 p.m. sorry from 2 p.m. till 4 p.m. how many people do you think you're gonna get vaccinated in two hours so then Saturday morning my friends and I woke up we got ready and we were like oh vaccination site uh, we get to net care they said they don't vaccinate on weekends that I took as a sign I took it as a sign I'm like ah my ancestors don't want me to get vaccinated it's fine I will stay without the vaccine but no I haven't vaccinated but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Sometime this week, I have to go. Um, either tomorrow or Thursday, so that I can recover over the weekend if I need to. Um, and I know that I have to get enough rest and eat well. I'll see you guys when I get back from Bram. I just got back from Bram, and it's almost sunset right now. I don't know what time it is, but I'm about to do a reveal. Of my hair <laughs> she's bald or whatever yeah, get into it <laughs> so I got to the salon and I just told my um, barber that I had went to go cut my hair with the other time I just told him ah you know what just let's just cut it all off and I'll see how I style it in the future I am also quite itchy from the hair that's on my body I can't seem to get it off when I do this so I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick and then come out and make some supper and just start preparing for the night good morning guys so it's a little over 9 a.m. right now it's almost 9.30, 9.29 and I woke up and I thought to myself, let me actually go get groceries because before I left for home, I, why am I hugging my teddy baby so tight? Um, before I left for home, I cleared out my groceries because I didn't want anything to go bad in my fridge while I wasn't here. I just left the frozen goods. So I don't have any fresh fruit or fresh vegetables or anything like that. And last night I just made some fish and potato wedges. I don't even have bread, okay? So I'm gonna go get groceries, come back, and tomorrow, um, yeah, get groceries, and then tomorrow I'll go get vaccinated. Early in the morning tomorrow, I can get up and go to um, a mosque in my area. Yeah, let me actually do that because what I've been doing for the past couple of days is buying food a bit here and there, and that's not sustainable. I need groceries. I already ordered some fresh food. I don't know when the guy is gonna deliver. Let me actually text him. I don't know when he's gonna deliver. He said this morning. It's already this morning. Am I, am I being too? unrealistic with my time let me see maybe I'm being too unrealistic it's still very early maybe he's still busy with other things but yeah there's somebody who sells fruit in the building and they're really nice and fresh and cheap so I got I get my fruit from him um, I think I spent like a hundred rand on strawberries <clears throat> a tub of strawberries 
no, not a tub, but a container. Strawberries, a tub of grapes, um, bananas, purple, pineapple. Uh, the, these are sliced. Purple and pineapple is sliced. And what else does he sell? He sells kiwi fruit and other stuff, but those are my favorite order. That's my usual order. So right now I'm just about to make my bed, play some music really loud. <laughs> play some music uh, in my room right now and then eat something and then head out to go get groceries I need to make my grocery list um, I need to add stuff to my grocery list am I the only one who does this when I go shopping I literally have a shopping list on my um, my notes app and as I let me put the baby over there and as I shop for stuff and I get it, I, I'll tick it, and it goes to the bottom of the list. If you didn't know, you know. I like being organized. If you didn't know, now you know. You can never say I never put you on. <laughs> so yeah, let me make my bed and start getting ready to go to the mall. Where are my small shopper bags? I hate, hate, hate buying plastic bags at the mall. I always feel like I'm betraying the planet and betraying the turtles so i always get these uh smart shopper bags and this is a bigger one that i have this is a shopping bag that i have and i put everything in here everything because we recycle we're here all right so let me go okay so i'm done getting ready and i'm about to leave let me close this window I'm about to leave for the morn. I was just watching on our olifant, and that's the reason why I'm leaving late for the morn. It's literally half past eleven right now, but I'm about to go. I am going to be vlogging at the mall. I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone, not my camera, because at the mall you have to have a license or a permit in order to film on your camera. Blah blah blah. So I'm just gonna vlog on my phone right so i did something with my hair i didn't think it was gonna work out i saw this on um sinovu yo monkiwa's you not youtube her instagram she did something like this with her short hair so that i tried it i mixed my leave-in conditioner with some styling gel and it worked out it looked like i don't know it kind of looks like i permed it is that what it's called but i just laid it i laid it I laid it down and I used my do-rag to achieve this look um, but anyway I'm gonna leave for the mall now and I'll see you guys when I'm at the mall I just want to tell you guys that Batum adulting is literally grocery runs errands and then you're done nothing else but anyway yeah um, let me go to the mall and then I'll see you guys at the mall and when I get back
30th of September and I actually thought that I was going to be literally nursing myself back to health after getting the vaccine but I'm fine uh, it's just my arm is like really sore over here just in this area over here but the rest of my arm is fine I can move it everything's okay so um here to end off the vlog uh, a lot has happened in the past two days and i feel like that's enough content for the vlog uh, i didn't even make my bed this morning because it's a bit gloomy and windy outside so i'm gonna spend my morning in bed i'm gonna be reading my book and just um relaxing in bed before i sit at my desk to edit some more videos but i just want to say thank you so much for watching till the end please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ask your friends to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can help little old me reach 10,000 angels it feels so so surreal saying 10,000 angels oh my god <laughs> but we're well on the road to 10,000 subscribers so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it now we'll see you guys in my next video bye bye